Hello good people from the YouTube, here's Marcelo Durham once again and today we're gonna do a comparison videos on pickups uh, you probably know about that because of the title but I did a video before uh, in my other channel where I did the fat 60s against the fat 50s and it was quite popular video, you know it has like above 30k views which is really nice at least for my status in the YouTube and um, and today I decided to show you guys this guitar that I made that I was planning to do for almost 10 years. Uh, it's a jazz master, but it got to many different um, stages and iterations of pickups and stuff. And I got to the final form, which uh, is a little bit of a history. I'm going to explain. If you want to go straight to the comparison of the two pickups, just I'm going to put the, uh, the number where you can jump to that part. But I need to tell the story of the guitar before just to put it into context. Okay. So this is the guitar that we're going to be talking about today. Uh, it's a Squire uh, 2019 Classic Vibe Jazz Master, okay, Olympic White kind of thing. And it came with a rosewood neck that I sold, which was not rosewood, it was Indian Laurel. And I didn't like the, the, um, the grooves on the, the wood, the grains. Uh, every time I would push, I would feel like some resistance and I didn't like it. Uh, some scratchiness uh, to the wood. So I sold that one and I put this uh, Mexican uh, classic series uh, Telecaster neck, okay, which is a Telecaster Deluxe. Got the 70s tuners here, it's a Made in Mexico one. I send it the lacquer off because it was too much. I left it on the headstock, but I, I kind of send it a little bit from the fretboard as well. I played for a couple of years without. Uh, removing it and just recently I removed it and it was the best thing I've done. The back I had done before. Uh, quick on specs is the original bridge. I have no problems with this. I have the Mexican version of this on my Jaguar and this one is not it's not bad at all compared to that one. It's fine, just doesn't have the locking system here that the Mexicans have. Uh, although the Mexican player doesn't have. But anyway, uh, I put this buzz stop here that helps a lot keeping the tuning and with the tension of the strings while you move the wiggle, 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 um, the tremolo bar, it helps a lot. So what is this um, bridge here that I've done? As you can see, so this bridge, let's see if you focus, this bridge is a Telecaster Saddles on a Mustang uh, or a Jazzmaster support. I did three holes here and I put them in reverse so I got six holes on this side that I'm not using and three holes on this that I'm using. I miss space a little bit here so I need to fix this with another one. But it's, this is very cheap bar with good uh, saddles here, brass saddles. And on the E string, because it was kind of escaping, not sure if you're going to be able to see, I actually pass it through the hole here, inside, through the previous hole where the screw would be going through and that gave more brake angle and gave extra tension to the string so it doesn't escape when it hits hard, it stays in place, which was a good thing. So just the E string is going down to that, um, through that thing. Uh, electronics. Now, this guitar has currently Mojo Tones 67 Quiet Coils pickups and I'm loving them. They're really low output, they're not as, as um, strong output as the Fat 60s that we're going to compare it with, but they are designed to have a 60s sound. Okay, so they do have some similarities. Uh, so I got a three three way switch here, like you would have in a Telecaster configuration. So, you know, neck, middle, and bridge. Uh, these potentiometers are CTS 500K pods because uh, that's what they suggest at Mojo Tone. They say that the pickups sound the best with these. And I put a treble bleed on this one. And, uh, and also, there's a little button here which is just a kill switch that I use for, well, I won't be showing this demonstration. Uh, so that's the guitar. I don't think I missed anything. It's, it's really good, it's not too heavy. And it's based on a guitar that is actually from the 70s, late 70s in Brazil, where they were to avoid copyright. They were mixing Fender models of a uh, guitar. So it's called a supersonic model. It actually has three Strat pickups. And this one is in like, it's just like a proper Strat configuration, three pickups. And here they would have like three on and off switches, like you would have on a Jaguar, those three switches here. But it was on and off for all the pickups. So you could do this configuration that you wouldn't have on a regular Strat of these two on and the middle off. 
in that guitar, which is quite cool. Uh, these were made with really good wood from Brazil from the 70s, where you you know you could cut anything without me. <laughs> well, which is not a good thing; it's a bad thing. You could cut any good wood without people actually checking you out. Uh, so, if you, I mean, these old guitars are actually good in a way. They're not too amazing compared to Fenders, but the Fenders from the 80s were actually done late 80s were done in Brazil we have this uh, I'll put a picture here of a made in made in Brazil fender which has funny enough the same uh, paint job that they use now on the Pro 2 series the Dark Knight kind of thing so that's actually from the late 80s early 90s uh, paints that they were doing in Brazil they're really rare they're not amazing fenders but they're rare and if you get a good guitar of these company called Janine um, if you get these good supersonic old ones and you change the electronics, sometimes you can save the pickups, do a fret job and stuff, take to a good luthier. They actually can be amazing guitars and some bands in Brazil, they do love and play these guitars. They discover them in the early 2000s, you know, with the whole vintage thing. We, had, we realized we had our vintage stuff in Brazil, back in Brazil, so we, we, you know, everyone went for it. And I decided to do a Fender copy of that copy of the Fender, right? So I did this, what they call the supersonic Janine model. I did this one, just without the pickle in the middle, because I, I didn't want it to route the body and put the other one in the middle. And this pickguard, I just found regular Amazon stuff, you know? That's why you don't have to, they are. Actually, I like the fact that this pickup is not in an angle, that piercing high, and notes that you get on a strat, you get is a little bit softer in this one because it's not in, in an angle. So I actually like this. Well, now that I explained the whole guitar that we're going to be talking about, that I basically want to show and demonstrate these pickups and noise are quite cool because I'm quite surprised. They're very low output, but they're really noisy and they sound really, really, really close to regular single coils. They're just maybe. Yeah, they, they, they're not 100%, but they are like 97% accurate. Sorry, I had to go and turn the lights on because it's getting too dark outside and the light changed, but we are here with the guitar. And the guitar that we're going to compare this one with, it's completely different from this guitar. Okay, so it's not a very scientific comparison. I just want to show the feel of the single coil, the quiet coils against the FET 60s. Um, so the guitar that we're going to be comparing with is this one here, which is my uh, Squire Affinity Body with a Fender Mexican neck, also a uh, classic series, okay, so similar line, uh, but rosewood. And this guitar is the lightest guitar I own. Uh, same deal on the electronics here, very similar, you got the Strat uh, bridge that does make a big difference on the sound, okay. And then the potentiometers here are 250k this time, but same deal with the treble bleed, three-way switch, Telecaster kind of thing, and Fat 60. So this is middle, and this is bridge, and the neck is some other guitar. But anyway, these the neck and the middle are exactly the same. Uh, actually, all three pickups are exactly the same on this configuration. But this one, I put a little extra that metal bar here, so it gives a little extra push, uh, like a Telecaster kind of thing. Which is funny because this uh, pickup here, the bridge one that comes in into the Mojo tone, is a little bit hotter. So actually, they balance each other in this uh, because of this um, plate that I put underneath this one. Because it, it's a common mod to make your bridge pickup sound a little bit more beefier and and fatter. Okay, so like I said, it's not a perfect scientific uh, comparison, but. It's just for you to get the feel of both pickups. You're gonna notice that this one has way more output than this one. But we'll go through some drives and fuzzes and stuff, okay? So let's go for the comparison and I'm gonna change the camera now. Hmm. 
Okay guys, well I hope you enjoyed this comparison. I like I said before, they're not exactly the same guitar. They're not the same pickup. So obviously everything is different, but I hope it came across as, you know, the feel of the guitar, like how you how you can actually perform with this one as well as something like this and you know maybe you have to do minor setup put a little bit extra gains in your pedals or something if you're using this one because it has such a low output which is really cool i mean considering that it's a noiseless pickup you know uh, i like low output pickups they, they are very vintage uh, spec right and that's what they were going for with these ones for sure uh, I'm very surprised, I never used Mojo Tone pickups before, I'm really happy with it. I wish they had these, this is my claim, I'm claiming, please Mojo Tone, do these pickups for Jaguar guitars, because I would love to put these noiseless ones, when I'm doing gigs, I really need the noiseless ones, I cannot deal with the 60 uh, cycle or 50 cycle hum here in Europe with the pickups. I love these pickups for recording, so I have these guitars to use at home, but when I go for a gig, I will bring something like this that has noise, so I don't have to deal with it. And to be honest, in a live situation, especially in the level that I play, you wouldn't notice the difference between these at all. Like, even for me, if you gave me this guitar in, at home here and let me play with it, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, think, I wouldn't think these are noiseless pickups, you know? I, I wouldn't know. I would definitely not know. Um, I actually remember like the Fender 69 pickups, uh, the custom shop ones. They are very low output like these and that's what I remind me the most. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this, uh, this uh, comparison and this video. Uh, please give me some uh, subscription if you can, you know, like subscribe here in the corner. Uh, I have also an album, it's really important to mention. I do make music, I'm not, don't, I'm not just a YouTuber, so I have a band called The M Files. And we just put out a record now. Uh, 2000, well actually last month, so 2022, and uh, it's on Spotify, all the other platforms, you can also download on Bandcamp if you want to download straight, and, and yeah, that's it, I bet the best thing if you want to help is to subscribe here so I can reach like a thousand followers, and on Spotify of course, views on Spotify makes, give some money back to artists if you like, if you like rock, you know, like, you know, is a kind of a grungier sound kind of thing or garage rock sound. If you like that kind of stuff, go check it out. If you don't like it, it's fine. But if you take the time to listen, I'm already happy. I already appreciate it. And, uh, and yeah, thanks for watching and see you next time. And peace.